Welcome back to Dirty Water Coins and Collectibles. Uh, yesterday, which was Friday, June 9th, I went into work and my co-worker said that he found these dimes uh, in a Coinstar reject bin. So I bought them off of him for $10. Uh, he wasn't going to take any money. So I gave him the 10 bucks and kind of just threw it on the floor. Um, the reason why I'm showing these is because I realized that, let's see what these dates are, <clears throat> 64, 41, this one's all chewed up. Forty-six, maybe, and it's like a forty-three. So I realized that I still had this, the silver nickels that I picked up for forty-five dollars. This was the second one, and again, it says all Roosevelt. I'm gonna count them this time. <clears throat> I think, I don't know if the 54 means that there's 54 coins in there. The other one said 51. So let me get this open and see what we have in here. I'll count them and I'll uh, arrange them by date and I'll bring you back, see what we have. Let me put these to the side, put these back in the bag. Those are over there. I'll put them in the bag in a second. All right, let me get this open. See you in a second. All right, the other four is still there. Here's these. I spread them out. It does appear that they're all Roosevelt's. So let me get these organized by date, and I'll bring you back in just a second. Okay, I have not arranged them yet, but there was 54 coins in there, so... You can see, we can pause it. There's three, six, nine, ten. 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 So that's 50. And those four make 54. All right. Let me arrange these. And I'll bring you back in a second. All right. Well, here they are. And it's pretty cool. I have uh, every single every single year for the Roosevelt dimes in that one container. I have 46, 47s, looks like a 42, 47. Let me check this one real quick. Put that up there. Switch hands. Uh, it's a 47. Okay. 47s, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, and 64 and surprisingly it's actually a, a pretty good mix normally the 64s would be like up to here but that's awesome i gotta check mint marks see if i have any other mint marks and i will check for varieties if i have anything i will bring you in for it see you in a second so that's cool i have the 46 philly the 46 Denver, and the 46 San Francisco. Uh, I don't think there's anything going on with this, but the mint mark is very close to the torch. I think normally they're down in this area. So I'm not sure if that's a variety or not, but just something that I'm noticing. All right, let me keep going. Bring you back in in a second. Same thing with the 47s, P, 
D and S. I'm not seeing any varieties as of yet, but they are all pretty worn. All right, let me get into the 48s, see what we got. 48s, two Phillies, a Denver, and a San Francisco. Still uh, no varieties. Let me see what else is in the 49s. 49s, I have a Philly and a Denver. Let's check the 50s. Look at the colors. Those are pretty cool colors. I like the toning, the variety there. All right, I'll bring it back in a second. 1950, Philly and Denver. 51 coming up. 51 Philly and Denver. See you in a second. 52s, we have two Phillies. Three Denvers and one San Francisco. 53s up next. 53 Philly, 53 Denver, and I also have this 53 Denver with a lamination issue right here. So that's pretty cool. Let's get into the 54s. I'll bring you in with any fines. So we have a 54 Denver and a 54 Philly with this weirdness going on with the four. I don't know if that's damage. I don't know what that is, but that's all I see. All right. 55. Looks like I only have one. Be right back. We have 155 out of San Francisco. Get to 56, and I'll see you in a second. We have 56 Philly, 56 Denver. 57's up next. 57's, we have two out of Philly and one out of Denver. Be right back. 258's, both out of Denver. We have a few 59s, so we'll see what we get here. Those designer initials look jacked up and thick, but I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, they're so worn. They've been around the block a few times. I didn't see anything else on In God Be Trust, but we're going to keep looking. All right. See you in a second. That same 59 with the jacked up designer initials. We have a little bit of a lamination peel here. So that's pretty cool. Let me keep going. I'll bring you in on the next one. 59s give us two Phillies, a Denver, and there was a 50 hiding in there. My mistake. And that one's a Philly. So we'll put that one over here. We'll get into the 60s, bring in with the uh, fines or mint marks. 60s give us a Philly and a Denver. I only have one 61, so let's see what that is. See you in a second. 61 is a Denver. Let's get into 62. So I have a 62 philly under the scope and there's nothing listed for this so it's probably nothing but this is the type of stuff that i'm looking for so you can see a little bit of what appears to be doubling but it's probably damage in the e in the s in the o in the f but i don't think that's anything like I said, there's nothing listed for it. It's a little bit in the S there. Oh, I don't know. My assumption would be that it's um, mint damage, not mint damage, um, machine doubling. But it's in my dimes, if not. 
So that's it for the 62s. That's a Philly. So there's four Denvers. Four Denvers and one Philly. Let me get into the 63s. I'll be right back. 63s, I have a Philly and three Denvers. And the toning on this one's really cool. There's some purples and blues, some greens. Let's get into the 64s. All right, the 64s were all Philly. Let's get a little uh, wide shot of what we have. So we have every year and a good variety of mint marks. Unfortunately, no mint varieties. A couple of lamination errors, but not bad. So we have our 40s. 46 through 49. Then we have our 50s. So we have 50 through 59. And then our 60s. 60 through 64. So not bad. I'll take it. $45 for that roll every year that's awesome all right hope you enjoyed this hunt uh, if you did please subscribe hit that notification bell and hit that like button see you on the next one